Installed on the boulevards of Kinshasa, the Congolese capital city, intelligent two and a half meter high traffic robots combine the functions of a traffic control officer and traffic lights. Powered essentially by solar energy, traffic robots put their arms up or down to indicate to pedestrians and vehicles when they should pass or wait. Therese Isa Kirongozi, the initiator of the project, explains the idea. What motivated me to embark on this project is that there was a real need for this innovation due to anarchic road traffic in the DRC, but also in Africa. The traffic robot is not an idea that came totally from me. There was already someone who made a little wooden robot that did not work so well. And there was also a designer working on similar project. I just gathered the ideas of each person and I created my traffic robots. Put into circulation for the first time in 2013, traffic robots are very popular with motorists and pedestrians. These robots help us at crossroads and roundabouts. These are places where there were lots of traffic accidents before. Today, thanks to the traffic robots, there are far fewer road accidents. However, some drivers do not respect the instructions of the robots. But in driving schools, we are taught to respect the highway code. It is necessary that authorities of the country carry out awareness-raising campaigns to explain to the drivers the importance of the traffic robots placed at different intersections and respect the traffic signs and traffic lights. The traffic police usually work from the morning until 5 p.m., while the traffic robots continue to work until late hours, and even when it rains, they continue working. These robots are really efficient for traffic. Therese Kirongozi is now the head of a small company with some 30 engineers. Her latest innovation is the static fire robot. An ordinary traffic robot makes at least 3,600 movements a day. Given that these robots have motors that require a lot of autonomy, we prefer to place at some crossroads like this one, our latest innovation, the static fire robot. We chose to post it here because here there are a lot of cars and it helps to regulate traffic in all directions. According to statistics, over the past 10 years, 9,717 road accidents were recorded in Congo, Kinshasa, including 2,276 fatalities. For the National Police, traffic robots are an important contribution, but do not replace the police officer who educates and sanctions. Today, the popularity of the traffic robot has crossed Congo's borders. These robots should be installed in Angola, Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, and even Belgium. Barry Lauro, CGTN.